Um, we're a lot better when Nikola Jokic plays. <laughs> uh, you know, it's good to have him on the floor. I thought in the 16 minutes that he played, you know, uh, he looked great. Uh, so uh, some really good offensive and defensive possessions. Um, obviously, the turnover is 17 for 19 against that team. You don't want to see that. Uh, and then just another fourth quarter where our defense just was non-existent. 34 points allowed. I think we gave up eight threes in that quarter. Um, so just have to learn to close games. And I know the, the last two games, L.A. and tonight, uh, we're closing with guys that are young, brand new, limited experience. Uh, so those uh, two games are invaluable for them. I mean, you can't replicate that in practice. Uh, I, thought, I thought we had some really good possessions and moments, but it wasn't just uh, – it just wasn't consistent enough. And that's our goal as, as we move forward. Uh, now we have Minnesota, then OKC twice. As we move forward in training camp, which this still is, we just have to find a way to be a little bit more consistent and sustain that effort for as close to 48 minutes as possible. Yeah, I mean, uh, 16, four boards, three, uh, three assists. Uh, I thought he was really aggressive. You know, I thought posting up, looking to attack the basket. Um, there are a few times where I thought he was might have gotten hit, you know, but uh, I just like his mindset. You know, uh, when Aaron Gordon plays in attack mode, um, obviously good things happen. Um, but not just for Aaron, for everybody on our team. We just have to make sure the assist numbers were much better tonight, 28 assists. That was great to see. Could have had a lot more, I felt. But we just get caught. There are times when we get – caught over dribbling and playing in tight spaces at times. And we have to improve upon that as well. Trust each other, move the ball, uh, and keep energy in that ball. And, uh, and that's who we've been, you know, really since I got here. So tonight was a better um, showing in that regard, and we can uh, continue to improve upon that. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, when you're the reigning MVP, you know, uh, obviously, uh, much is expected of you. And he went out there and just kind of picked up like he never missed a beat and uh, just moving the ball, scoring in the post, making plays. And I thought he had some really good defensive possessions as well. Uh, obviously, they're a tough team to guard. Uh, you know, we shut down Nicole at the half. They shut down some of their guys as well. Um, but, you know, it, it was great to see him out there. And we'll build on his minutes as we move forward. Um, yeah, well, it means a lot for him to be back. And the most exciting thing about that, Mark, for me, is that, you know, it was, we didn't have to spend any time trying to convince Aaron Gordon or his family or his representation. Uh, Aaron Gordon wanted to be back. And I think that speaks to uh, our locker room, our culture, and the group of guys that we have. Uh, when he first got here, obviously coming to a new team in the West, a good team, he was really just trying to fit in, you know, and find his, his way with new teammates. Uh, he's put a lot of time into his game this summer, uh, and you can tell going through a training camp is going to help allow him to be that much more comfortable and confident on the court. So uh, I know he's playing in front of a lot of family and friends tonight, uh, and I thought in the 22 minutes he was out there, he did a lot of good things for us. Go ahead, Derek. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Michael, um, I think they also scored 37 points in the second quarter. What do you want to see clean up defensively uh, with some of your main guys? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, the three-point line in both those quarters. You know, um, to your point, to give up 37 in the second and then 34 more in the fourth uh, is nowhere close to where your defense needs to be. And then the first and third, it was 26 and 21. That's like I said earlier, you know, the, the inconsistency kind of where our defense is at right now. Um, you know, you have to guard the three-point line. I'm just happy they didn't take 69 threes tonight. They only took 46. Um, but, you know, they went on that run in the fourth quarter, and it was like three after three after three. And I just don't know what our guys were thinking. We're all just kind of running back aimlessly into the paint instead of realizing they have shooting everywhere on the floor. Uh, but... Uh, great teaching film, you know, we'll watch film of this, uh, which will allow us to be better. Um, and, you know, obviously we have quite a few more days to get ready for Phoenix on the 20th, which is really 
all about training camp is getting us ready for the start of the regular season. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Michael, is there one particular part of PJ's game that you think has taken the biggest step from last year to this year? Um, yeah, health. He's healthy. <laughs> you know, obviously, I think that's my biggest concern with PJ Dozier is uh, trying to keep him as healthy as possible. Uh, when he is able to play, the versatility, the ability to play off the ball, on the ball, play pick and roll, uh, his ability to guard. You know, I thought he had in the Clipper game, I thought he had some tremendous possessions of guarding Luke Kennard, just being into him and chasing him and limiting his airspace and separation. Uh, and he had some good moments tonight. But uh, what I love most about PJ is his versatility and his ability uh, to, to play so many different styles, so many different positions. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Coach, despite the loss, what positive aspects do you take away from tonight's game? Uh, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, uh, we only had 20 assists the other night against the Clippers, uh, and that is well below what we expect from ourselves. Uh, we usually average around 27 a game, which puts you in the top three every season. Uh, and tonight, just the fact that we had 28 assists on 44 field goals, I felt the ball was moving more tonight. Uh, we had some great multiple driving kick possessions where guys were making plays for their teammates as opposed to catching and holding and dribbling. Um, so that, that's, that's who we have to be every night that we play is just unselfish and finding ways to make our teammates better. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.